place a central venous introducer in the typical fashion. Place the small cap over the end of our introducer. Take out our pacing wire and test the balloon. Place the sterile sheath over the pacer wire. Put the small connector plugs into our pacing wire. Hand off the connector wires to a non-sterile partner who will connect them to the pacer box. The red connector is the proximal connector and is positive. Set up our pacer box. Your partner should turn it on. Set the heart rate somewhere around 80 to 100 where it will be distinguishable from the native rate. Turn up the current all the way and turn your sensitivity all the way down or switch your pacer box into asynchronous mode if possible. Float our pacer wire. Inflate the balloon and continue advancing. When we see electrical capture, look for mechanical capture and can tell this by looking at the pulse ox waveform, which should show pulsations at the same rate as our pacer. Once we have electrical and mechanical capture, give the wire a little jiggle to make sure it's stably in position and then deflate our balloon and advance another couple centimeters Our last step is to tweak our pacer box settings. You can keep the heart rate where you set it at 80 to 100 beats per minute. Turn down the current to the point where you lose capture, and then turn it back up to double that amperage. I would suggest leaving the sensitivity alone for the time being, but it can be adjusted if you want the pacer to sense native beats and to not pace where it's not needed. 